In this tutorial, I'd like to show you briefly how to prepare your Excel file for Civil 3D. So you'll notice that if you try and open this file, whatever uh, survey file you have, it should come in a uh, um, text form. So it's just a text file. It won't have Excel in here, so you're going to have to load Excel first. So if we come into Excel, and then we'll just go in and open and we'll go ahead and select our file now it won't show up unless you specify it to all files here and you'll see that the survey data does come up this will be your file for your group now when it comes up you have to make sure that this is checked with delimited here this is how we're going to separate the data from text into actually columns and rows uh, so we'll check delimited there and then move on and once you have it here, you'll need to make sure to check. Um, sometimes you need a comma in here in order for these lines to come in so that it's accurately dividing the data. So next we'll, uh, next we'll just hit uh, finish, and that will put our data in like so. <clears throat> now, when you work with this data, there's a few things that are necessary for the data before it goes into Civil 3D. First of all, in the far left column, this is going to be your, your point value. Now, if there are any letters in here, this file will not work. So this has to be number only. So my encouragement is just to change these um, from the current value that you have, uh, if it has a letter in it, and just change them all uh, to numbers. <clears throat> also, if you have any columns that are uh, any rows that have only zeros, just get rid of those altogether. So we don't have any rogue data at the origin, <clears throat> and all of these other rows will be fine. So again, this row here is your point value, so that's just the point number. P, N, N is for northing, this is your easting, Z is your height, and then this is description. Description can be whatever it wants, so this is um, where text is available, and you can put whatever you want in there. This should come through with whatever the codes are. If your codes didn't come through accurately, you can change codes in here at this time and prepare the file for um, going into Scylla 3D. So we'll go ahead and just save this. And we'll actually save it as, just so we know that it's been edited. Uh, so we'll save it there and just click yes. Now in order for Civil 3D to use the file, this file has to be completely closed out here, so you can either close out of just the file or close out of uh, Excel itself. Um, one last note is make sure that there's nothing, no headers up here, anything like that, and this file is ready for Civil 3D.